Our Echo dealer stopped by the other day and he had a couple of saws he didn't mind uh, letting me hold on to it for a few days, so much appreciated. Uh, what we've got here is the Echo CS490. This is a 50.2 cc, 3.3 horsepower. Uh, power uh, head weighs 10.3 pounds. That gives us a power weight ratio of 0.311 horsepower per pound. This guy will hold a 20 inch bar, though not a 20 on here. And if you look at this guy, it's actually brand new. So I'm going to run a tank through this before I actually cut with it. You know, I don't want to freaking take a brand new saw and put it into some wood full power. All right, so first things first, I'm used to running steel. This is the first uh, Echo saw I've run, so let's go over the controls. We've got a uh, kill switch here. So kills down, have your safety interlock, pretty standard these days. Have your choke here, that's pretty nice. Sits in flush there. Pretty standard setup with your fuel bar and chain oil. Do have a uh, nice convenient toolless cover removal to get to the air filter. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got spark plug, we got the air filter, all pretty. And on this guy, we do have a cold weather shutter here. So, in the cold, you, know, you can flip that over, get some of that heat from the cylinder over to the carb for cold weather operation. See, it does have a pretty good anti-vibe system here. The housing, engine housing is mounted separate with the shock dampeners from the controls. All right, let's go ahead and pop the side panel off and see what we got. All right, so we got the side panel off. Uh, first thing noted, the chain adjustments on the cover itself, unlike the steel, which is on the power head, uh, I think I prefer it on the uh, power head. On this, I'm assuming uh, if you put a new chain on, you're going to have to kind of play with this guy before you can actually get it mounted up. Uh, but you do have a rim sprocket. That is pretty dang nice, especially on a uh, you know non-pro saw. All right. So you got your. Bar oiler right here, pretty standard there, bumper, inertia chain brake, should work well. All right, opposed to the steel that I'm used to, this guy actually has a nut on the crankshaft. So you want to replace your rim, you just pop that nut off, I'm guessing, pull your rim off, replace it, same thing with your clutch. This thing is running a magnesium crankcase. Actually, that's, uh, that's all metal. That's pretty fucking nice. Do have your screen for your forest use. That does look pretty fucking restricted though as far as exhaust is concerned. I imagine you just take that cover off, you probably get uh, more power out of this guy. Uh, this is not my saw, so I'm not going to do that. I'll be running it stock, just uh, something to maybe think about. Looks like for exhaust, you've got these three little vents here and then maybe one underneath. Uh, so you could probably definitely open that up a little bit and get some less restriction in there. Running underneath. Well, isn't that fucking nice? You got the adjustable chain oiler on this guy. This is for 350 bucks. This looks like a pretty fucking nice saw. I'll put it to some wood here in a minute and see how she does. I'm actually uh, looking forward to this. All right, so we're going with the brand new CS490. Uh, being brand new, I've been running it for quite a while, just idling. Yeah, I don't want to take it uh, from brand new, just straight to full throttle. So, uh, not quite fully broken in, you know, I run through three tanks yet, but, uh, you know, she should do just fine. Let's see how she does.
Pretty nice. Yeah, I think I'd be maybe a bit hesitant to put a 20 inch on there. Uh, but she did well with the, uh, the 16 or 18 that's on the 16 that's on there. Um, you know, smaller saw, so didn't expect it to have overkill power like the uh, CS590 I just got done doing. That thing was pretty bestial. But for the weight, this thing's damn nice. I'm impressed. So thank you very much for uh, letting me hold on to this, Mr. Echo Rep Guy. And have a good one, humans.